The touchy feeling. What? The touchy feeling. You're very touchy feeling. I've not seen since day one. I don't know your intention. I don't know. I wouldn't know what your intention is, but I don't necessarily you know you view it like that. I just, I don't know. I don't, I don't really know. When I put my hand over the shoulders, rub them, all that type of shit. Well, I don't have any buzz in Yeah, trust me. I just haven't said anything. I'm like, just calm. But... Rob? Yeah. <laughs> I swear it's not intentional. I love me a relationship that communicates about everything and anything, okay? Sean has been noticing how Wani has been moving in the house. He has noticed that Wani seems to be a very touchy-touchy kind of person, okay? But he has not really said anything about it. He has just been observing and watching to actually know what is going on, all right? He said that he has noticed that Wani is just too touchy. He can be having conversation with his fellow ladies or even just random housemates. And you will see her being, you know, touchy-touchy, holding the shoulders and stuff like that. So Sean said he just needed to address it, okay? I'm like, okay, is this jealousy that I smell? But Wani explained herself and said it's actually not intentional. Maybe it's just who she is. It's not intentional. She doesn't have eyes for any other person. You know, she's not feeling any other person in that house except him. I'm like, okay, he's giving premium sheep. <laughs> Sean, Sean. Wow. So Sean has really noticed how Wani has been so touchy touchy. Ha, I love it. I love it. And there's something interesting Sean said. He said, anyway, I've just been observing. It is the early stage. You know, people might change later and start creating boundaries. So, and you just need to, like, address it. But I'm loving it. I love how both of them can just talk about anything and everything. I love how Sean addressed it very quietly, like, without any form of drama. I cannot be with you and you are all touchy-touchy with other guys, okay? Let's create boundaries. Hey, <laughs> hey. Sean, Sean is such a cool guy and I love it. Moving on, guys, after the whole emotional breakdown between Wani and X and D last night, baby girl advised her twin sister to start mingling with other housemates because it would be unfair for her to be feeling lonely seeing her mingling with other people. So Handy has taken the advice and she's actually mingling with people. Take a look at Handy and Mayo having very lengthy conversations. Um, or they spoke at length. They talked about music. They just talked about, like, really random things. I really want to see Handy in a ship in that house. If Handy keeps, you know, mingling and relating with other housemates, especially with male housemates, who knows? She might just find herself in a ship, okay? And it will save her the stress of always feeling lonely whenever... Wani is busy with Sean. <laughs> I love me a lady that knows what she wants. Ruthie is one housemate that has been consistent about who she likes in the house. From day one, it has all about. It has always been about mayor, mayor, mayor. Baby girl has shoot her short plenty times. There has been massage session. In fact, she has cried to mayor. <laughs> Just to actually get Mayo's attention. Yeah? But this Mayo is not putting his head down. And I love the fact also that Ruthie opened up to Mayo saying that it's actually not in this house to come and start forming feelings or doing anything all in the name of long term. That she just wants to have fun. She wants to enjoy herself. And stuff like that. I really, really love it. I love it so much. And me, on the other hand, that one, hmm, that one, Mayo is a smooth operator. He knows a lot of ladies likes him, but he doesn't want to choose any of them. He's just playing, playing around, playing around, enjoying all the attention he's getting from the ladies. <laughs> oh my days.